Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Let's continue our discussion about Tartarians. If you don't know anything about this, I recommend you to watch the previous video on this topic. There's a playlist waiting for you to watch. Please check the description box to find out more. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. It appears that the University of Oxford is older than the Aztec Empire. The University of Oxford first opened its doors to students all the way back in 1096. However, since the history has been rewritten, we can't say for sure when were these buildings actually created. By comparison, the mainstream history dates Aztec Empire to be originated with the founding of the city of Tenochtitlan, which occurred in the year 1325. The Alaska Yukon Pacific Exposition 1909. Tartarian Architecture. It appears very similar to the Vatican City, which was also built by Tartarians. After the reset, parasites took over. These buildings have been demolished long time ago. Apparently the wide architecture is thorn in their eyes. This is a Schumann resonator and the floor of Carthers Cathedral. The cathedral was built in the early 1200s. The Schumann resonance was not discovered until late 1800. Charters Cathedral using the Schumann resonance for healing since 1200s. This is the main reason why you can feel godly presence in these ancient temples or churches, they are tuned into certain frequencies which are beneficial and healing for our bodies. Ancient builders were masters of energy, vibration, and frequencies. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Churches, cathedrals, mosques, and other buildings of worship were originally etheric power stations, water stations, and sound resonating acoustical healing centers. The buildings that religionists use as places of worship in our present day originally functioned as hospitals during the reign of the Tartarian Empire. Tartarian buildings are more similar in function to pyramids and temples found across the world than what we are led to believe by mainstream peer-reviewed science. Here are the pictures of magnetic field as seen under the ferrocell. A strong magnet is placed under a horizontal conducting ring that carries the currents as shown in the pictures, creating the flower of life which we can find in many ancient cultures around the earth. The Midas Monument is a 17 meters high facade carved into a granite rock with the same Vedic symbolism we see all over the earth and what appears to be ancient runic letters. These runic letters are the closest to today's Russian Slavic alphabet, as well Nordic runes. Granite is the strongest rock next to a diamond. It was presumably built in the 7th or 6th century BC. With what forks and knives? There's no doubt that advanced technology was used in building this enigma. However, for what purpose, it remains unknown. The entrance is small and doesn't lead anywhere or to any sort of exit. Could have been used as an ancient stargate portal powered by crystals? Or maybe even a portal for travel between the cities? It's quite possible. This crop circle appeared on July 23, 2011 in Wiltshire, UK. This crop circle pattern presents to us a quite accurate representation of the molecular structure of melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone produced in the pineal gland of the brain and has an important role in rejuvenating our body, regulating our sleep cycle, and many other benefits. The Otahuacan Mexico vs. Vatican Rome Inside Vatican and whole ex-Roman Empire, you can see many Vedic symbolism. When you compare ancient buildings and recent Tartarian, you can see that same architects are in question. This wasn't created for worshipping a dead guy. Jesus came here at the darkest hour. Parasites have already taken over the churches. 
he came to kick coin holders out of the same. Those same families are in charge today. Research Black Nobility. Today Vatican owns the largest bank in the world. They financed pretty much every war, they are the ones Jesus criticized as the synagogue of Satan, for turning his people away from God. Jesus didn't come to make a religion. People that killed Jesus made a religion. Parasites reigned over the Europe, Australia, Africa, and America, in the name of Jesus. They destroyed Tartarian culture which was already present. Hundreds of millions forcefully converted in their new Judeo religion, and history completely rewritten. This is Nikola Tesla's vibrational healing technology. There are currently over 3,000 hidden and suppressed patents and technologies that would change our modern society into something most people can't even imagine. Free energy, along with thousands of life-changing and human-benefiting technologies, will be coming into the new 5D Earth. Did you ever hear about the Nurig giants of Sardinia? Of course not. You were not supposed to know. It is estimated that Smithsonian Institute destroyed more than 10,000 skeletons of giants on the U.S. soil alone. Mind-blowing The Last Supper painting by Leonardo da Vinci, supposedly made in 15th century. Perfectly aligned with sacral geometry which is basically the foundation of life and has been used in the creation of all ancient buildings. The real reason there's an Antarctic Treaty in the first place, and why we are not allowed to explore the North Pole, is due to many of these ancient buildings that are still under snow and ice, which doesn't fit the mainstream his story narrative. Starlink technology is nothing but balloons with antennas and Christmas lights. Both NASA and SpaceX companies are defrauding their stockholders. Both phony companies. Deafen the NASA and you'll be able to feed the whole world. This system is a joke. Antennas were not for decoration, everything that our ancestors built had a purpose. They built temples or shrines on special places across the Earth with strong energy fields. We call them energy knots. There are many of these energetic knots across the Midgard Earth. Most of these old temples, churches, mosques etc., later converted to religious objects, have been built on these energy knots, were known to possess the healing power. Now in modern day, we can certainly buy tools that can detect all levels of radio waves and frequencies. However, it's a mystery how they knew where exactly to build them. Extra sense, intuitives, or were there some tools used in pinpointing these energy knots? Most likely the first one. Frankfurt, Germany, 1742. The whole structure is glowing, which is long before electrical light was said to be invented. Also worth noting, that is an emblem of the Russian Empire. Energy from the ether. Advanced technology in the form of architecture. Truly incredible. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.